Tonight we've learned a man whose golf cart was hit by a car in Chandler has passed away. This crash happened yesterday near Gilbert and Riggs and police say 93 year old Clayton Hefty was ejected from the golf cart when he was hit by the car. They tell us speed and impairment were not factors here and the driver of the car will not face any charges. Carts and cars have been coexisting on Arizona roads for years now. A law allowing it for retirement communities actually passed back in 2014. While you don't always see golf carts on the road down in Chandler where the fatality happened, there are some places here in the valley where it's actually very common. Spencer Blake checked out the streets of Sun City West. In retirement communities like Sun City West, it's not at all uncommon to find people with an alternate mode of transportation. An awful lot of people have golf carts. We talked to a lot of people in Sun City West who have two drivers in the home. They say they have a car and a golf cart. And the golf cart's not just for golfing. They say sometimes they use this just as much to groceries or go to church, you name it. I put more miles on the golf cart than I do the car. Jim Young is on the community's board, so he's fairly well versed in golf cart safety. He was surprised by this week's tragedy in Chandler, a crash involving a car and a golf cart that killed an elderly man. There was also one in Goodyear in 2016 that injured a 76-year-old. We have had some deaths here, but there's not really a lot. Uh, in my opinion, most uh, most accidents are for cars. But Young admits golf cart drivers are to blame sometimes too. People will come up to a stop sign and they just run it because they they maybe they play golf and they don't have stop signs on golf courses. Banner Health says its ER near Sun City West sees about three or four people a year who were injured in accidents between golf carts and cars. But Young says car drivers are quite good at being safe around golf carts. People here are accustomed to it, and in Chandler, you know, that's probably rare. In the West Valley, Spencer Blake for Arizona's Family.